Last week, uh, I had a great, nice call from John Curry, class of 2019. John is a, a student at Morehouse uh, College in Atlanta. He uh, is working remotely this fall and hopes to be back there in January. But he uh, has a great uh, internship job this fall where he's working uh, with uh, early voting uh, Tennessee. And he's here today uh, to talk about that voter registration. He's also with, here with his boss, Lindsey Smith. Please join me in welcoming both of them to the NBA campus. Good morning. My name is John Curry. I am a sophomore political science philosophy Chinese major at Morehouse College and a 2019 graduate of Montgomery Bell Academy. And I'm here to talk to you guys about voting in 2020. So let's begin. So let's start with the significance of voting. Whatever you may be, red, blue, green, doesn't really matter, this election will be contentious. So if you want your candidate to win, you, would, you should vote. And let's not forget that this is an American ideal. This is uh, one of the foundational elements of American history, and I know we venerate it so much here, so I would implore you all to make good on this education and go v uh, register to vote. And thirdly, let's remember that voter suppression is very real among young, uh, among young voters, as seen by Tennessee's third, yes, it is the third hardest state to vote in in, in America. And we also have very strict voter ID laws, very uh, strict voter laws in general, and deadlines. For instance, if you go to vote or go to the polls with your NBA ID, you will not be able to vote. Stuff like that, which I will get into momentarily. Next slide, please. So let's look at how to register. In the midst of a, in a, midst of a pandemic, uh, I think it would be best if you were to vote, register online. You can go to govotn.com and you can find the voter registration form. It's very simple, very quick, very easy. Uh, if you guys don't want to do that, you can go to any public institution like any public library, county clerk's office, uh, county clerk's office, et cetera, and then pick up an application. However, due to a lot of COVID procedures, we don't know if they're uh, open or not all the time. So it would be best if you just go online to govotn.com and register. Um, let's look at who can vote. If you are already 18, you can register to vote. If you are 17, about to turn 18, and you turn 18 before November 3rd, you can register to vote. Anybody else, I'm sorry, hopefully next election, and you obviously can't have been convicted of a felony. Uh, if you guys don't know your voter registration status, you can just go online, uh, look at the registration form, uh, put in your uh, social security number, and see if you are registered to vote in your state. Uh, the, the deadline to register to vote is October 5th. That is one week from today. After that, no, there are no more registrations. Uh, that is not absentee ballot. Uh, next slide, please. So as I said before, we are in a pandemic. Uh, so if you get to the polls and you are wondering what to expect, this is it. You're gonna have touchless voting. So all the ballots in the booths, they're gonna be, you're gonna have a pen, you're just gonna tap everything. And if you have to put your ID, you're gonna put it on a little, um, little piece of paper and slide it to somebody. Point is, you're not gonna touch anybody. Uh, there gonna be, there's going to be sanitation after each voter for the booth, so uh, it's going to take a, take a while because you have to sanitize everything uh, after each voter. So if you are going to go to the polls, please go early because not a lot of people are going to be there. Obviously, social, distance guidelines, uh, social distancing guidelines and all the poll workers, because they have to deal with hundreds of people, they are going to wear, be wearing PPE, so don't worry about that. And last but not least, there is going to be a lot of hand sanitizer. Next slide, please. And absentee voting. So a lot of people are wondering, well, how do you qualify for an absentee ballot or am I at risk enough? Look, if you feel you are at risk, you can get an absentee ballot. It's that simple. If you want to, you can get it. Uh, if you guys are, have any, are confused or con have any questions about it, you can just call the Davidson County Election Commission. They'll answer all your questions or, or go to govoteearlytn.com uh, and look at our F FAQs. Uh, let's be clear, we are not a Dropbox state, except for Davidson County. Um, so you can't just go to the post office, drop it off uh, if you're not in Davidson County. If you are in Davidson County, go to 901 uh, Broadway and drop it off there. Um, and let's uh, look at the deadline here. It's October 13th. Do not miss that deadline because you will not be able to request an absentee ballot. Um, next slide, please. 
So poll working, and everyone who, uh, who can't really vote right now, um, you can make a, some quick bank, get exposure. Uh, all you have to do is be over 16, uh, but if you're over 18, you actually have to be registered to vote. Um, but if you're 16, you're good. You can't be a close relative to any of the candidates, and I don't think that'll apply to anybody, so that's great. Um, and you get paid for flexible hours, and you get a lot of exposure, so if you guys wanna make some quick bank and get some more exposure, you're good. And next slide, please. All right, so last but not least, and I would encourage you all to take a picture of, the, of these deadlines. The voter registration deadline is October 5th, one week from today. If you miss that, you will not be able to vote. And the, to request an absentee ballot it is October 13th, so it's a, about a week after. And that's only if you want to do absentee, so you're going to have to decide at some point. And uh, last but not least, please stay safe, mask up, and I will hopefully see you guys voting. Thank you very much.